Hey guys, it's uh, Michael here today. Sorry, I heard a little messed up on that side. Anyways, so I'm going to do a little app review on my iPod Touch 1G. I do have a lot of apps. I consider myself an appaholic. Um, I have pages and pages of apps, if you can just see. And I have them all in alphabetical order, because I'm kind of a neat freak. So, um, the one I'm going to be doing today is Crazy Machine. Um, it's made by DDP Entertainment AG. Um, it's a really good app. It's a puzzle game. Probably have seen it before, not on the iPod, but on your computer. If you're older than seven years old, you've probably seen this on Addicting Games or whatever. There's a little loading screen. It's a little Einstein-looking guy spinning in a wheel. And so, the good thing about this game is you can, you can have up to three profiles. Unlike other games where you only have one, and if you want to start over from the beginning, you have to overwrite this game. It's just, you have three. So you can have one for yourself, one for your kids, one for your brother. I have one right now. Actually, I had another one by accident. But So here's the menu. You can play, construction kit, awards, options, and credits. So I'm going to hit play. And you can do continue or puzzle. Puzzle is you can choose from uh, previously beaten levels. And there's, I think, about 50 levels in this game. So I've beaten up to, like, 30 of them. So you can just scroll and go back if you want to. I'm going to go continue. So it loads a little bit long loading times. Not that bad though. Okay, so they do is they give you directions on the front, like little hints. So release the clown from the box and then get the tennis ball to turn off the power switch and roll into the target zone. Don't burst the balloon. So you have multiple this is a higher level, and you have a little timer right there and your points. And um you have tools, so if I hit the little tools bar. You have the things you have to use to beat the level. Sorry. So, yeah, so those are all the things you have to use. Um, the one complaint I have about this game is there's a huge difference from like the first set of levels that are really easy. The next set is insanely difficult. And so there is really a steep learning curve. And some of the things you don't get to use in the beginning. And also you have to use them and know what they are. But luckily I found out this little button. So you click, click on an item. And it creates like a little bubble over the item, like this. And you click on the question mark, and it tells you what the item says. So, blow torch, fix, generate heat, and can light other objects. So, that's good. So, I can make something on fire. So, I have actually not done this level. So, I'm going to go back and do a level I've done that's pretty easy. Because this level might take me a couple minutes. Let me go to puzzle. Let me do like number 13. Let's do number 11, transmission belt. So this is the second chapter. The game is split up into chapters, first being the easiest. So light the rocket and let it collide with the balloon. This will only happen if you correctly place and connect the gear via the transmission belt. So what I have to do here, so I have to get the candle to light this little rocket over here, and then get the balloon to go up and hit the rocket. So I have my tools. I have a, two gears, a rope to tie together a gear and a... Um, spinny doiggy and a wooden plank so I like to get them all out on there at once so I can work with them so what I'm gonna do here is and this will be a little tutorial too I guess is I'm gonna put this big gear in between two small gears so you see right here I have the big gear in between those two small ones I don't connect them so when one spins the other one does and I'll connect that little one that up to that. Another thing is the touch is a, touch um, is a little sensitive um, compared to what I normally like, but it's okay. So this level is actually a little bit difficult for one of the earlier ones, but it's still a good level. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna try this little setup. I have the missile bouncing off of that and all that good junk. So, so the rockets puts the light on fire. And it went crazy and I failed. So let's see what I did wrong. Why don't we trap the balloon? Okay, so the balloon spins a little wheel. And this rocket's gonna light. And it's gonna bounce off of there and not go where I want it to. So then we stop again. It's a lot of, um, What's it? Uh, trial and error. That's what I'd say this game is. It's a lot of that. So the yeah, balloon stops there. The candle lights the rocket. 
Ooh, close. Let me move that just a tiny bit there. Let's try this again. Anyways, I'm not going to be able to do this right now. I'm pretty bad at this game. So I'm going to exit and give you my little commentary. Um, this game, I think, is $2.99 in the App Store. I definitely recommend it. Um, it's a great puzzle game. There's not a lot of good puzzle games anymore on the App Store. Well, there are. There's the Tangrams. But it's really one of a kind and the first of its kind. And I expect to see a lot more of where this came from. But um, I think it's a really great app to have. It's only $2, you know. And the great thing about the iPod Touch in general is these games are console or even laptop level games, and they're really cheap. So I'd say try it out. If you don't like it, let me know. Um, so I'll give this game a 4 out of 5. So um, comment below, and uh, this way or that way, you can look in the description and subscribe. All right, thank you.